drop of honey makes a world of difference. One drop of honey makes learning sweet. Add one drop of honey to Talmud Torah, and you've got a team that can be beat. When somebody contacts a rabbi and says, I want to convert to Judaism, according to the Gemara, the first thing that we're supposed to say in response is, What are you crazy? Why would you ever want to become a Jew? Forget all the laws that you have to follow, but the whole world hates us. I mean, we are the punching bag for the world. Everything bad in the world seems to, at some point, get to us. And very often it gets to us first. And so as tragic and as horrified as I was to read and to hear about what happened in France, I wasn't surprised. We seem to be a magnet for crap. Three children, a rabbi, senselessly murdered because they're Jewish. Because of some figment of some crazy man's imagination that we are oppressing some other people. Why is it the whole world looks at us, blames us, condemns us? What have we ever done? You're not going to believe where the answer to that question comes from. It comes from Hitler. Adolf Hitler tells us why we are the ones who are oppressed. Because Adolf Hitler said that conscious is a Jewish invention. Our conscience, the conscience of every human being, he said, is a Jewish invention. We are here in this world to upset people. We are here in this world to make people uncomfortable with the status quo. We are here in this world to challenge everything that everybody does by forcing people to think about their conscience. We, as an Orla Goyim, as a light unto the nations, we Jews bring conscience to the world. And frankly, it's a lot easier to live in a world without conscience. And that very fact, what we symbolize, what we bring, what we offer to the world, that very fact makes us a magnet, makes us an easy target. You want to know why bad things happen to us? Because it's our job to point out the bad things that are happening in the world. We are the conscience of the world. That doesn't mean that other people don't have conscience. Don't get me started on the chosen people thing. It just means that this is one of our unique gifts that we bring to the world. We invented conscience. And that's something I'm damn proud of. And when I see something horrible like this happening in the world, it doesn't say to me that I want to shrink, that I want to shrivel, that I want to back away from my responsibilities as a Jew. It makes me even more profoundly dedicated to those responsibilities. When I see things like this happening in the world, it makes me want to cry out. It makes me want to scream from the top of my lungs. This is hatred. This is not okay. As a Jew, I know this. As a human being, I know this. As an American, I know this. If I am called to be the conscience of the world, if you are called, if we are called to be the conscience of the world, then let us be that. Let us never sit down when hatred exists. Let us never stay silent when there is pain, when there is suffering in our world. With Pesach inching upon us, with the holiday of Passover coming up so soon, we're reminded that we were slaves in Egypt. We know what it feels like to be enslaved, to be in pain. And we don't even need to think back that far. We can just look to France. We can look to the bombings in Israel. We can look to the pain that we experience all around the world as the punching bag of the world. We know what it's like. And because of that, we bear the horrible responsibility to be the conscience of the world. I am proud that we are the inventors, the owners, the masters of conscience. May we live up to our noble responsibilities. Until next time, Lehi Trout.